guys. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. How are you doing? This is the right? podcast. We're brought to you by. So weird. now. We just do dumb shit like that. I'm sorry. No one does it. No one. You are but weird. if you like us to sponsor you, <laughs> we'll definitely start doing shit like that. I'm not doing no weird shit like that. You you sponsor me, I'm going to give you a good one. I'm give you something natural. I would hope that you would I will natural. give you something natural and authentic and real. I'll actually test your fucking product out. Have you seen that shit thrown in the trash? You're like, let me do my fucking sponsorship real quick. I actually test it out. There's a lot of um, there's a lot of potential clients out there that have good products that we can do that with. I imagine. Hell yeah, Kev's over here rolling the fucking. Uh, this nigga's literally rolling a black and mild blunt. Like, <laughs> it's a pre roll. I ain't have to roll nothing. That's the whole thing about it. This nigga got a pre roll. People don't care we, about that. Nah, we don't. So, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this nigga comes with a pre roll blunt, blunt. He's like, you know what? Giving his life up for rolling blunts. Nah, let this nigga, um, name, let this nigga named Timothy roll it for me. <laughs> the fact that you're naming, Timothy? yeah, Kev gets personal, and it's always a guy he likes to get personal. No, nah, I'm just saying, it's, I can imagine a nigga named Timothy rolling the blunt. They wouldn't let a nigga. The fact that you just imagine a man named Timothy. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like so, like he looks like a fucking underachieving white kid that fucking what? like got a job getting paid by weed at a factory that still was with his parent because he about to inherit their business. So he goes and rolls weed on the side for fun. There's you a couldn't dude, give a job. You couldn't give a job like that to Jorge. There's a dude named Timothy listening to this shit saying he's way off. I guarantee you. I, I guarantee Walmart. you. He said I walk at Walmart. <laughs> I don't see like the quality, like, the quality of that blunt being rolled right there. Like, <laughs> it's either Timothy, a white kid that just loves weed. It's a perfectly rolled. It's perfect. I'm, Look how like it's brown, my nigga. Or it's a nigga that's from. It's a Cuban nigga that used to roll Cuban cigars that defected from Cuba, and now he works at a weed factory. Defected from blood. Cuba. Okay, you gonna make you gonna make this work, right? I am. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm cutting all this of, one of these. Out. This this one of these. You this this one of them it. old school OG blunts right here. You can leave it, man. You put that some extra shit. People will find a, it funny. This is an OG blunt right here. Nobody but me. That's why I like these. And they come with a little filter. You know what I'm saying? Filters out all the THC. <laughs> okay, is, need need a, is that a glass pipe on yeah, the other end? Know, it's a you filter. Drink, glass filter. Yo, it's a glass pipe on the other oh, end. This nigga's that nigga smoking a crack weed. Do you need a drink? Ooh, me? Yeah, yes. Kev needs something. Oh, Bro, crack. you are a wilder right now. Yeah, Kev needs <laughs> something. Crack. You ever heard of swinging a miss? Yeah. <laughs> that, nigga, that nigga's striking out all game. We try I to help you, me. and you just be like, nah, I'm going to just keep going. Nah, don't. Well, I'm going to run with it. Nah, nigga. Nah, <laughs> sit your ass down several times. Shut the fuck up. I always got to <laughs> deal with you two fucking niggas every time. So like, y'all niggas be tagging each other. It's, God, it's my turn. Just hit him with the elbow. It was arms long as hell. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna put him, I'm gonna put him in an arm bar and flip him over. You're gonna hit him with a leg drop. Like, come on, man. What is happening here? I don't know. Wrestling. What do you talk. think we spend our time doing? I don't know. What's, what the fuck are we talking about today, man? <laughs> I don't know. I tried to give a little extension to it, but you just kept going in and then. Right, we're talking about real OGs guys here, you know. In the opinion of the podcast, we're talking about <laughs> real OGs <laughs> and already a diminishing thing. Yeah, it's huh? 345 in. No, I'm just checking the time. Oh. We're talking about real low G's, man. Are they, thing, are, they thing of, are, they, are they really a thing yeah. of the past? Is there's no such thing as real low G's? Have they disappeared from the face of the earth? As is it either, dead? That's the question. Is it is dead? It, is it is I mean I would OG assume culture. That, OG yeah, culture. OG culture in itself and the well, ways of living. Gr- growing up growing up in a drug infested neighborhood as a young man myself. Well, why don't we why don't we get into the basics first? Let's bring it back a little bit. What's an OG? Let's yeah. What's an OG, and 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 it's in its form from OG is called original gangster. That's the that's the standard <sighs> definition for OG's original gangster. Okay. Uh, OG is some dude like you know what I mean maybe he, he is probably a gangster. He's probably getting money in the hood. He's probably doing things uh doing things of illegal activity. Most of the times in a black neighborhood, because being a black man or growing up as black, you really wasn't even when we got released from slavery and bondage, it really, really wasn't a lot of jobs and privileges for black people. So sometimes we found our ways of making money, sometimes legally, 
not a lot, but if you want to make some good substantial money, you'll probably do some st- shit illegally. You know, those is, and it was dudes <laughs> called OGs, and they would go around helping out the hood. You know, maybe it's a mom in the hood that can't buy Christmas presents or ain't got enough food in the house or whatever. Or they 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 on a block, they see they block, you know, the kids out there eating ice cream, they take care of the kids in the neighborhood, they shut little shit up, you know, the YMCAs and stuff like that, they fund it. Those are what OGs used to do. Well, or tell you to stay was, off. Well, the in my eyes, yeah. Uh, an OG for me was a person who's lived uh, number one, they were older than me, obviously. Um they lived their trials and tribulations, and they're a person that I looked up to for whatever the reason may be, and they have a way of guiding me to kind of direct me to what I'm, whatever goal I'm trying to get to, you know what I mean? Giving me good advice, showing me ways of doing things, telling me that maybe their way isn't the right way that I should find, you know what I mean? Like their, their guide and their guide for me isn't a hindrance to my life. It's somebody I look up to like, yo, he did this, he did that. And he came out this type of way. And you know what I mean? He's showing me sort of the ropes or, or, you know what I mean? He's not, he's not putting bullshit in my head. Somebody whose information you trust. Cause you, exactly. cause, cause OGs, they, you can have OG at your job. You know what I mean? Which kind of how it used to be. You would go in there and you like, um, Kev, I hope you don't mind me <clears throat> bringing, bringing, you know, people up, but Nate, I would consider at the time, at the time, an OG. That's my he big gonna, brother. Yeah, he, right. He's going to hip you the game. He gonna, that's an OG to me. Um, that's, what it, that's what it has evolved to. And the issue now is where are they in the younger generations? Because I do think that we still, like guys our age, abide by a certain set of rules still because they're so ingrained in us from those OGs, from your parents, from whoever. But the younger generation doesn't necessarily have OGs. I guess we're supposed to be their OGs. We are their OGs. Nate was Nate, Nate is was my age, and I'm was in my twenties. What it is is like, dog. I'm forty. Keep it G. I'm about to be forty in a couple of weeks. And they got hit me up one time at work, and he I was running the game to him. And he was like, "Thanks, OG." Yeah, you old as shit. <sighs> Being my age and my mindset, I said, yo, I'm still young. What the fuck is this nigga called? What the fuck is this nigga called? No, me you're OG? not. Who gives a fuck what you're talking about? No, no, even I'm not even, I'm not trying to be smart. I'm just saying, like, uh, even if uh, you don't listen, feel like you're, you're know, the but, guy that should be called uh, that because of how you feel about your age, uh, uh, the you. age difference between you and that other dude who, you know what uh, I mean, well, who could explain, be significantly let me, younger. Let me, let me explain that shit to y'all niggas, man. Okay, sorry. Listen, listen motherfuckers, shut the fuck up and listen. Oh, um, <laughs> nah, real shit. Oh, real shit. Uh, but I, my mentality was like, yo, what the fuck are you calling me OG for? Like, bro. First thing that came to my mind, even though I know it wasn't a fact, like, nigga, we the same age. We around the same group. I'm not that old. Not even the same age, but I was like, why are you calling me? I'm not that old nigga to be calling me no OG. Like, OG is a old, beat down, decrepit nigga. Like, why are you calling me OG? That was my mindset. Let's get it straight. That's what I thought in my head. He was an older dude, a lot of, you know what I mean, supreme wisdom. And I'm like, yo, bro, I'm still, like, young at heart. You can't be called no OG. Like, I don't feel like no OG. But, which, in heart. reality, I'm technically in my OG because I don't live. These kids half my age. You get what I'm saying? It's half my age. I, I don't live twice as long, had twice as many experiences he had right now. So, technically, I got a good amount of answers from him. So, technically, I am his OG. That's what's probably missing because dudes my age don't want to hold that title yet because in our mind, we still thinking that we're young. I mean, in our mind, we're thinking that we're young, but physically in our age is saying, no, you're not young, bro. You're actually OG status. I don't I don't really think that that if we're trying to if we're trying to figure out or decide what the discrepancy is between the past and now when it comes to the OG and um, the legacy, if, if it's still alive or dead, I think it's just a disconnect between our age and the younger age. <clears throat> we, I think that the younger age group <clears throat> is a little more stubborn than we were 
I feel like when I was younger, I looked up to my OG and I had there was a line of respect that you had for that man or woman or whomever, you know, was the top dog in your life. And you had there was a there was a layer of respect that, you know, I mean, there's certain things you just wouldn't do. And and their name was known. And, you know, what I'm saying like everybody had that line. But I don't think there's the same line of res, line of respect for um, our age and the younger age. There's a disconnect between us. They they give. Um, so so here's the thing that is confusing now. Um, hopefully we can liven this up a little bit. People, Relax. young, younger people. They throw around the word OG like we like we do old head, like we did old head. Now there's two 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 versions of old head. There's my old head, and then there's just old head tripping. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like you're just an old motherfucker older than me. You're just an old motherfucker talking shit. So yeah, old head tripping up there, like whatever, whatever it is. And then there's no, nah, that's my old head. Like he he, you know, gives me game. They throw OG out like like that. Yeah, thanks OG. Yo, know, even if they don't get no game from you or nothing, they just calling you that because you're older than them. That's literally all they're doing. So it's like it's a bunch of empty, empty words being thrown around with no feeling attached, no connection attached. Um, and I'm going to say this, and, and I'm going to get off of it so we don't be all serious out. The reason why you might have had more interaction with your OGs or people that you know around your neighborhood or or whatever it was is because kids – our age were outside more. So yeah. we got a chance to physically <clears throat> be around them and be in situations where they can guide you. It's from a small age. You know, there's there's your OG, there's OG Frank down the block who told you don't be crossing the street without looking both ways, who who will talk to your mom and you know what I'm saying? Like say, yeah, I'll be looking out for him around here. There's your your OG that's a little bit older than you. Maybe if you was 12, he 15, and he tell you about the girls and how they be. Like th that you're physically with them. Now, these kids are sitting on their phones. They're going off of what they think people should act like. And unfortunately, mm -hmm. how they think people should act is, hey, you talk about me, I'm just going to come and kill you or something like that. I, these niggas got the internet. They, they know everything. Basically, and they, they know mind. everything. They yeah. and they basically and they fucking mind. They know anything. So you give them any kind of information, they like yo flag, flag you, fuck off. Like this old head nigga talking about. Oh, 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 they call you old head. This old head nigga talking about. I'm gonna fuck you talking. You just fuck out my face. And real stuff. That's how they come. Like mm -hmm. I run games to the little little young boys. Now they be looking at me like I'm crazy. And they go right back to their phone, like and start laughing and shit off. It's like, yo, bro, like I'm telling you some real shit to help you out. These niggas on this, on, these dudes that you looking at that screen at, bro. Let's be real. Half they shit is some some scripted shit they done made up. They gonna play off, and then they get a, a bunch of people following me. You thinking that's real life? Like half that shit they throwing is scripted. They not doing no real shit. Just look at, uh, I know this. I hate to, yeah, I hate to date the episode, but look at the six nine. Doesn't matter. You know what I mean? Talk hell of shit. Talk, you know, first came off with all that blood gang gang shit, then rat it. Then let the young boys, let the young cats think, oh, it's okay to rat. Nothing can happen to you. Nothing has happened to me. Now you just get stomped out in the gym. Like, it's consequences to that shit because there's still motherfuckers around that still hold that ratting shit to a cert certain degree. I heard a couple of, I heard Charlemagne like, oh, you guys should be bigging that shit up. It's like, mm, now nah, we should. You know why we should be bigging that shit the fuck nah, up? I'm going to tell you why we should be bigging this shit up, uh, um, Charlamagne. I'm going to tell you exactly the reason why you should be bigging that shit up. One, to show kids, if you're in a gangster, don't be on the fucking internet portraying that gangster shit. One, if you get caught up in some gangster shit and you're about to do some fucking time, <clears throat> Because you was evolved in that and you wanted to live that life, shut your fucking mouth, do the fucking time. If you don't, there are some older dudes that still hold that gangster mentality and that gangster code that you're banned from what we call the hood or where that activity goes down at and you it's going to be repercussions. Everybody don't got Takashi 6 9 money to have security walking around with them 24-7. That shit comes with repercussion. Not at the gym. Exactly. Yeah, don't uh, that's what I'm that saying. Day. Like, showing me, oh, they, you, the culture shouldn't be bigging that shit up. No, we should be bigging it up because that's that's what literally been happening. That's been literally been happening. Since, we all thought it would happen. 
Yeah, that's and that's what I'm saying. That's literally been happening since the since you doing crime or illegal shit and you rat your boys out. There's repercussions to the shit. Stop stop telling kids, you know, we shouldn't big this up and that's foul, it's messed up to happen to six nine oh. That should have that should have been happening to the nigga. I also think it's internet culture too. I do think people do things and um we can get back to it in a second, but I do think people do things just so somebody can pull out a phone, right? Yeah. If you notice, see, back in the day, yes, we all like to watch people fight. It was what it was. We definitely just sat there, and when a fight broke out, niggas stopped what they was doing and watched that shit. You might break it up, but you're really going to watch that shit. Now, niggas will be like, niggas will be like, yo, somebody will make a call. Yo, 6 9 here, yo. And, you That's know, what happened. Think about it. 6 9 here, yo. Come here, I'm gonna let you in. Boom, boom, I believe so. I'm gonna let you in. Yo, fuck that nigga up. Another nigga come with the phone. Yo, I'm doing this just for the look, just so everybody can talk. I'm doing this for that. We got a phone. We want people to see us do it. It's gonna be all over the internet. She's gonna be crazy. I'm gonna fuck this nigga up. That's why people do shit. Not because, yo, man, I stand on this blood shit. No, niggas be like, yo, this shit about to kill the internet, yo. I know some bloods. They gonna love this. That's it. But we all should know, dog. Like real shit. Oh, we back serious. My bad. Nah, we I'm all should know. That's serious. Yeah. Like we all should know that was coming down the line, bro. That shit was coming. You, you know, got stumped out. You know what's funny about the whole Charlie scenario? horse. Charlie horse. Oh shit! God damn oh. it, motherfucking truck. Go ahead. Oh. <laughs> you better. You gotta eat more bananas. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you ain't got no bananas going down there. Look at that. And Should be empty. Whole basket, dog. Yeah. Man, whole, that whole basket in his room. Yeah. And not room. those kind of. Well, oh, you think I got a room still? <laughs> <laughs> I am in the dining room or whatever the fuck this <laughs> shit is. But the funny, the funny thing about that, and not, and not to say that it is funny, but it is kind nah, of it's funny. Fucking funny. With, with I'm saying six it. nine. Dash but the memes funny. that they got for Gunna. About seeing this shit <laughs> and like he next is crazy. I, I didn't like I, they I already. Gotta I gotta look. You ain't seen him. <laughs> I gotta look. Go ahead, keep going. Hey yo, hey yo, they got they got photos of Gunner looking at his phone crazy. Like, oh, they coming for me next. Ah, <laughs> 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 hey funny. yo, Ooh, gonna tell. He probably won't get hit up because gonna he tell. ain't that's talking funny. shit, dog. Like, but. That's the thing about that's the thing about having motherfucking OGs and shit. Like they would tell you, say that like like street OGs would tell you, like yo, you, they see you not built for this shit. They tell you straight up, yo, stay out the street. You're not built for this. Like, uh, yeah. Nah, you're not built for this. Like if you get locked up, you you can't say nothing. Like because if you do, you can't come back here and think shit gonna be sweet because it's not. So <sighs> go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, go ahead. We just say, bro. I was going to say, and then there's also people who don't hold none of that shit, don't hold none of that shit to heart and say, man, ain't nobody going to do nothing anyway. Fuck it. Ain't nobody man. do, ain't going to, ain't nobody going to do nothing to you. Man, listen, bro. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I, I know. I've been close to, <laughs> I've been close to situations, not that close, but like situations where I seen motherfuckers did that shit and yeah, nothing happened for them for a couple of years. Now they gone. Like, and, did something that somebody told them, told on situations, and now they gone. They in a casket six feet under. Like, you got to be careful with that shit. And that's the thing. That's the importance of OGs. Like, OGs, real OGs try to steer you away from the dumb shit. Like, you're real, like, OGs like that. They try to keep you out of harm's way, especially when it's the street dudes. Coming from my area, it's like, Dumb street dudes, like you ain't supposed to be out here. Your grandma know you, your grandma know you out here. Your mom know you out here. Yeah, you better take your little motherfucker. Yeah, you better take your little ass home. Or I'm gonna tell your mom and your pops you out here. You shouldn't be out here. Like fuck off the block. Yeah. Like you, you ain't got no reason. You got good parents. You got a good home. Don't you, you do know, this. You know what the young boys tell you now? Uh, when you tell them that, shut the fuck up. I'll get my brother. I'll get the strap. That's that's what young boys are saying now. That's why little, just, little kids. That's why you don't talk. To, it's a, that's another reason you don't talk to these little niggas, man. These little niggas is like, I don't, I'm an old head. And these niggas be talking wild, Definitely. crazy. Yeah, I'll be talking. These little young niggas be talking wild, <laughs> crazy, dog. They When they talk wild like that, wild, crazy like that, I just get away from them. It's like there's no convincing y'all because y'all are so hot headed. Y'all ready to go get a gun 
ain't no talk. It's really no talking to y'all because y'all get offended over dumb shit. And now, now you want to shoot me. You don't even want to fight because you can't fight. You what? I'm a grown ass man. I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm a grown ass man. I'm 200 something pounds, dog. You, you with you five, six, a hundred pounds. I can slap you and knock your fucking head off. But you're not scared because in your little fanny nap sack you got wrapped around your fucking chest, whatever little fanny pack you got on, you got a gun in there tucked somewhere. Ain't no guns in jail. It ain't none. That's why I'm little niggas when they go to jail, like they get, you know what I mean? They go in there acting They go crazy. to a different gun show. No, nah, they get, yeah, they do. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> they, try to, they try to find, they try to find that little nigga older than them that's kind of running the jail and shit. They OG, nigga. Yeah, but when they get to prison, like jail and prison is two different things. Like jail is just niggas is you know me in there for a couple of years waiting for, or waiting to get sent sentenced to sent get sent to prison and shit like that. Or you might come home with some little petty charge. The judge might like you know I me mean? like you sat there for like a year or two. And the judge like I'm gonna let you off on probation. So there's a lot of young dudes in there acting crazy. They get to prison. There's some old niggas that been in there for a fucking minute. And they chill, they chill. They like prisons, is, jails is wild. It's wild. Prison is a little bit more laid back. It's a lot of older <sighs> dudes in there. It's dudes that got real time. I say prison is is no is a yeah. home for I've niggas. Yeah. Like, I'm just saying prison. There's a place where motherfuckers are there for life. Yeah, like I say, that's why it's calmer. Jail is wild. Jail is wild. Jail is 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 is, is, is niggas screaming all day, yelling, wilding the fuck out. Nobody can't get no sleep. I don't, know if, no I don't sleep. know if it's necessarily wild. No, I'm ja- you've been in jail, so you get already know in jail. how it is. You dog. get fucked in prison, so I know. I'm saying, but you know how it is. It's just you've been in prison. Face. I mean, you've been to jail and shit. <laughs> I ain't never been, I've been to prison. Jail, but I ain't never been, been to prison. I ain't never been to prison. Whenever you talk, I got a close friend. You talk to niggas like I was. I got locked up. I was talking to niggas. I was talking to a nigga myself. He was like, "Man, I can't wait to go downstate." I'm like, "Why?" Like these little niggas in here too wild. I just want to be able to go to sleep, do my fucking time, and come home. Like it's too much shit going on. Like you're going to have that in prison, but if you fucking doing forty years, bro, you don't want your shit being disturbed. Like you, like you got a routine. You know you here every day. It's like I don't want my shit being disturbed. Don't come in here with all that rah rah. You about to do just man, do your fucking time. Go the fuck home. There's a lot of OGs in prison because. They they trying to tell you they trying to keep you from here like yo man get get the fuck out of here do something with your fucking self like but there's also but you know these young niggas don't gravitate to that they gravitate to the little nigga that's still running wild and yeah yeah bro you wrap up because they want to be known for something with some real shit that's that's the thing that's another reason OGs on it we ain't really fucking accepted nowadays because with like you said with social media. It's like, yo, what can I do to make myself popular and seen and all this shit? Where OG is like really trying to set you, sit your ass down, tell you some right shit, and get you on the right path. I I, I do you one better. <clears throat> if I go deeper, I think that none of these, uh, the, you know, the, the people who need OGs, the, the the newer generation, I don't think they think about tomorrow. I think they only think about today in, in their thought process. So like, the guy who has done it already is trying to tell you, is trying to prepare you for tomorrow. Like, you know, hey, if you do this, you're going to be fucked up tomorrow. But the kids are not thinking, or the, the, the newer generation isn't thinking about tomorrow. They only think about right now. So guess what? If I'm mad today, I'm going to go shoot you. If I, you know, if I jump in the car to rob somebody, it's fun today. You understand what I'm saying? Like, they don't know about tomorrow. Hey, we're all, you got your gun? I got my gun. We all got guns? Cool. Let's go rob this person. Oh, shit, somebody died. Now I got to sit up. They don't think about the next day. They just think about what they're doing at the moment. Anybody who tries to guide them on anything further, they don't listen to because, nigga, I don't care about tomorrow. It's today. I'm going to get $700 from this person bust down four ways today. <laughs> That's no, no. I, I, they can't think about it, dog. The only time I ever thought I had to kill a nigga, only that kept playing through my head was how old's my daughter going to be? Is she going to fuck with me when I get? Is she going to deal with me when I get out? Is she going to be mad at me? Who's going to take care of her? Like that shit is constantly playing in my head. I'm like, I don't want to do. Like, I, I wasn't hesitant to do this shit. But that right there played in my mind. I don't think that shit played in these young niggas' mind because they don't think about none of that shit who's being affected. That shit just was playing like a broken record in my head 
why I had the gun in my hand. It's just playing in my head like a broken fucking record in my head. It just kept going and going. I'm looking at this gun. I got this gun. I could feel that shit in my hand. Nothing happened to the situation because it got diffused. So I ain't incriminating myself, but this is a long time ago. The situation got diffused. I didn't have to go that route, but that record played in my head like, yo, I wasn't thinking about, I wasn't scared to do the crime. I wasn't scared of none of that shit. I was like, there was some real consequences behind this shit. So that brings me to what I really mean to say. Consequences. That's what people, that's what they're not thinking about. The OG, the OGs already went through the consequences or saw somebody that went through the consequences and they try to tell you what they're going to be and the young people don't care about consequences so that's what you just said was a better way to explain it consequences is what they're not concerned about i'll kill you yeah. I, listen just like remember that girl that girl needed it she needed og when she went online and smacked the other girl mom yeah that's, no, that's not thinking about consequences i just i want to disrespect you so bad and my and no ogs are around to tell me anything you know what i'm saying just people my age saying hell yeah go do that shit and then there you go so look at the boy that went to uh that got the murder charge and that then the judge read him off that year. That nigga just broke down and just started crying. I like, yeah. which, which time? Remind me. Uh, it was time? a it was a young black boy. He was in court and he got like he got a meme out. Like he got a whole meme out of of him looking around like he fainted. Yeah, he fainted. Like he didn't yeah, think he was gonna get that time. Yeah, that was a minute ago. Yeah, yeah you don't I think felt he... bad for him until I saw a video of what the motherfucker did, and I was like, oh, all right. <laughs> It was like you got what you deserved. Yeah, put you thought you thought <laughs> like 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 the talk about OGs like like drill music. These niggas be rapping their whole fucking crime out. You that shit is that, new to me. It's you telling me oh, like God. old like old school rappers, OG rappers is like yo, this is this music. I understand y'all niggas want to talk about your life, but don't mention real events. Oh, you know who did it one time? Who did do that shit though? Who? Noriega did that shit. About it got bleep. It crime? got bleep. It got bleeped out. It was with him when he had to shoot out in front of Hot ninety seven. Like he talked about him having beef with uh, I think it was Mob Deep at the time. He talked about it on the record, but he didn't. You know, he didn't break it all the way down. But he just talked about certain events, and they and it got bleeped out on his album, but. These niggas just be running it down. We shot the op. Name the nigga name. In the gray car. In the gray. Name everything. The whole <laughs> fucking crime. The cops was just like, cops was like, I'm getting tired of listening to this drill music shit, but I got to do a fucking crime. To the, I don't I'm think pretty they sure. mind listening to it at all. Yo, yo, put that new. Yeah, see, that let's see fire. what we could get. That shit's <laughs> fire. fire. <laughs> imagine, imagine, just imagine if. The rapper is like a CI and he's using that as his way to communicate to the police. <laughs> Never know oh, some CI shit. That's crazy. Yo, that young young thug homie was 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 uh he wasn't undercover, but like he he was a I guess you could call it a CI. You ain't never mm. see that, you ain't never see that video of him like telling him like and they telling him what he gotta give him, and he like, man. I ain't gonna do all that. I'll do this for y'all, but I ain't gonna do all that. You ain't never see that shit. This no, was I recent. I watch that shit, but that, <coughs> that, but that's the shit I'm talking about. Like it's crazy. But back to like drill music. Like there's no OGs telling these niggas like, yo, Kevin, keep it serious. Okay, go ahead, man. I'm jo I'm joking, Kev. I'm, I'm joking. Trying I'm, trying to, I'm trying I'm to. Trying to light, I'm trying to. No, I'm trying to lighten it up. <laughs> no, I'm. I'm saying go ahead. I'm <laughs> trying to lighten it up. I'm trying to add some comedy, but go ahead. Can't add comedy to everything, nigga. This ain't a comedy topic. Mm. It's funny. To <laughs> ain't nothing comedy. funny about. Ain't nothing funny about this shit, dog. This real shit is affecting our people. It's affecting. Think about it. It's really affecting our people more than any fucking thing. Uh, I think you gotta. I think you, okay. you gotta know where where your allegiance lies to. Are you going to be a civilian or are you going to be in the street? You can't dip your. So really? Feet in and out of both because then you find yourself in a situation like having to decide if you're gonna tell on somebody or not. You know, what I mean, if you're a civilian and you're not and you don't do anything that's a part of the street, if they ask you who did something and you decide to tell, 
it's not snitching you a civilian who's protecting themselves because that's not the life that they live. I'm gonna they make still kill civilians. I'm gonna make a joke about this. Yeah, I mean, yeah, but these niggas are scared. Of at that raped. point, you're just a murderer, right? <laughs> it doesn't necessarily make them a snitch. <laughs> these, niggas is, these niggas are scared of booty warrior. Listen, <laughs> I, I, would imagine, I would imagine so. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> closing that the nigga, gates. That nigga that took his job. Chest. I like you and I want I'm you. I'm an Aztec warrior. <laughs> I like you and I want you. Just go two, one of two ways, the easy way or the hard way. <laughs> and I'm praying that you want to do things the hard way. <laughs> Y'all remember the, the booty they warrior? Scared, yeah, I remember. Huh? Are they scared, though, of the booty warrior? Are they scared? I don't think they're scared at all now. They be scared when they get there. When they get there, yes. Yeah, these young fellas. I watched that episode. If they only only do what Dre said and they're just thinking for the moment, they not thinking about the Booty Warrior. The Booty Warrior is a (laughs) hidden horror movie within the the jail sentence. It's like, oh my gosh, I lose time. I don't get to do anything. I got to be in this jail and I got to live under the thumb and eye of a warden and all these motherfuckers doing whatever to me and then when you get there you realize then you find out like oh shit and then there's a nigga in here fucking everybody <laughs> hey, did you ever, have you ever watched that like, like, 70 years and he's horny and he's got a and it's a and, and, you, and, and if you in prison i just imagine that he ain't the only one so it's probably a gang of them and imagine if they all friends party on your booty hole bro i watched what's <laughs> funny don't. dog i remember the boondocks <laughs> did that shit but I actually seen that real episode of Locked Up when they interviewed that dude. He was yeah. just like, man, nothing more important than a man's butt. Booty. Nothing water. Uh, eat. And words more, this is how this nigga said it. He said it was nothing more important than a man's butt. Booty. Saying there is nothing more important. I can think of <laughs> so many things that are more important than a man. So many butt. things. <laughs> I think it, I think it, a man's uh, butt is not on the list at all. <laughs> <laughs> it was so like, what the fuck? Yo, like, like, when that, he was in his the, prime in the seventies and eighties, that's like he was uh, just raping niggas left and right. He said, he said, you cameramans walk by me and y'all wasn't here. I just squeezed your butt. Oh shit! You gotta, <laughs> you, gotta <laughs> fight, no. you gotta fight. Yo, you gotta fight him. See, that's the type of shit you have to put but up in jail. Because a nigga, hey, listen, a nigga, it don't matter. A nigga try no, 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 you, no, no, you no, make no, that shit a hard out. No, no, no. No, if he's gonna, ra- he gonna rape you either way. So guess Dre. what? If you lose and he rape you, I don't think he's gonna rape you again. Cause that's no, a- he's gonna rape you again because he can beat you up. I don't know. You're not understanding. If God damn it, why are we doing this? Okay, so <laughs> if I'm a rapist, <laughs> fuck, I'll never say that again. If a person is a rapist, <laughs> if a person is a rapist, we'll definitely and I see before. listen, and I see you, right? I like you and I want you. <laughs> I'm going. <laughs> I'm going to go and try to get you, and you instantly start punching me in my face. I start rocking with you and beating you the fuck up. That's hard. The nigga that I go over and I'm just like, yo, stop, stop. Oh shit, don't rape me, don't rape me, and then bend the fuck over for the nigga. What are you saying? I'm going bro. to go after the nigga who won't bend over. <laughs> that nigga said the booty warrior Zach Ward. We can do this up, though. The booty warrior of Zach Ward was. We could do this the hard way. We could do this the easy way. Right. And, so if and he, he said, a, "I don't mind," and he said, "I don't mind doing it the hard listen, way." If he has a choice, easy guy over here that gave up the buns, or a hard I guy don't... who I had to fight this nigga for fifteen minutes <laughs> and then have sex with him, <laughs> easy guy it is. So yes, you fight. Yeah, but nigga. what? But fight. what if? What it's if? Like your booty what loose. if it's the thrill of the fight that excites him? Like he had that, to nigga, wrestle you, you down, and, him, then look, and then look, and then look, and then imagine, imagine, you know. and then he wins. You, you are him. now dominated at that point. If he you wins, are. you kill him. That's what you do. You kill him. That's what you do. And that nigga, nigga I mean, tripping. You walk over there while he eating. Give it, nigga, give it to the nigga in the neck. You bro. just gotta take that or get raped every fucking day. What are y'all talking about, <laughs> bro? He broke your complete spirit. He beat you. Oh, what not only said. did he beat, not only did he beat you up and stump you out, but then he raped you at the end of your stuff. Okay. Out. So once again, if that's what's happening, you are you going to want to fight this nigga every day? Get listen, stumped out, raped. What I'm saying, you have no other choice now. You're a man with his back against the wall with no other choice. That nigga, you might have gave him two times. You might have fought the nigga two times with everything you got, and he beat you and raped you. What comes next? You're going to keep getting raped by him 
or you're going to see that nigga in the joint. Yo, you're going to see that nigga in the fucking child, whatever the fuck they call that shit, child and give it to him in his neck. Give it to him in this motherfucker. Get a wet, you, you ain't gotta you get got raped it. again. I don't give a fuck. You get it from somebody. You know, <laughs> you you know that you fucking give it to that nigga so he don't live no more. Is that's what you do? He's raping the hard and the easy way because you think about like yo. So I he has to it. be put out of he has to be put <laughs> took away from existence. And then that nigga's still in you prison. You're gonna have to July. go on a murder spree because I feel like when you're in jail, as soon as they right. find out that you get that you were manhandled. Somebody else is going to try to manhandle you, so now you're just going to have to be. They learn how to fight. <laughs> yeah, you're going to have to be. <laughs> Listen, you can learn how to fight. Warrior for say, real. Y'all saying fighting ain't enough, right? Y'all saying fighting ain't enough, and he beats you every time. What I'm telling you is, all right, he beats you twice. Kill him. Everybody's still going to come try to rape you again, right? Nah, no, I killed the you. people who raped me. Like, what the fuck is you talking about? Kill and the and I rape him after I kill him. <laughs> Sorry. Gotta get your revenge back, nigga. You, you got life now. You got life now. You gotta let niggas know. I'll fuck dead niggas. Oh, you know what this song <laughs> Do you really want this song? It's funny with the fact that you yelled that. It's fucking hilarious. Whoa. You yelling that down the block out yourself. You still want this? You still want this, huh? You end up dead and then fucked. <laughs> either one thing I'm gonna have, either two things, one or two things gonna happen. Either they're gonna leave you alone because you, first of all, you ain't raping no dead niggas. But I'm talking about kill a nigga. Either one, you want they're gonna leave you alone because you kill niggas, or they're gonna kill you. Because you know what's happening. That's what I'm saying. Like these young niggas don't understand. Like you get beat up. That's the, the decisions you have to make. In yeah, jail. you do. You get beat up by the booty warrior and he rapes you. <laughs> now this nigga Those stand out your cell because he horny again. Now you got to fight again and take another L. Wow. <laughs> and after you take the L, you get raped. You <laughs> might just give it to this nigga. You're like I don't want to get beat up again. If you if you are you laying with him and you get beat up by a nigga with the nickname booty warrior. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I mean, the warrior part has to come from somewhere. That nigga can fight because he was a hey, warrior. Yo, if, hey yo, I'm sorry. Wall, yeah. Look, man, I don't care yeah, what like anybody it. said. Watch that shit. If I right now, no. about to be 40 years old, got was put in prison for whatever the case may be. And then somebody told me, please, yeah, because I'm I'm living a straight and narrow life right now. Yeah, I don't want that. And somebody somebody told me that booty warrior the booty warrior was looking for me. Look I'm immediately <laughs> making my shank. I don't care about <laughs> nothing. <laughs> as soon as <laughs> I'm gonna be I'm gonna look at the nigga who's who told me it's like nigga booty warrior. Nah, oh, yeah, I was <laughs> <laughs> I'll be like, oh, why me? <laughs> what, what, what I done did? Nah, he's got to go immediately. I'm not even it's taking no yeah. type of precaution, no conversation. Nothing. I'm just as soon as he comes in, as soon as I see him, it's got to, it, bro. No, yeah. his name is Booty Warrior. We can't be friends. No, and you, we damn sure ain't getting close to each other. It's got to yeah. be a one and I like done. You. And I want you. <laughs> Yo, <imagine laughs> that's what the nigga said. Imagine the nigga telling you that. And you just got to sit there and, and respond. Like, <laughs> we can do this uh, the hallway the easy way. What you going to tell the nigga? And the nigga, and, I mean, Stand a nigga him. got a crew. <laughs> a nigga got a crew, right? You at, a, you at, you at your table. You eating fresh fish, Dre. You are, fe- are fresh fish in the tank. You get it. They serve lunch. Just in your mind. You know what I mean? Because you'll be on the straight and narrow too. But just just a scenario. Right? You're sitting down. You're eating whatever the mess they're giving you at the time. You Right now, you just outside your mind because you realize that you're in prison. You know what I'm saying? Okay. A big nigga sits directly next to you. And niggas sit across from you. And then another nigga sits directly next to you. And ain't nobody talking. They just looking at you, and that's all you hear whisper in your ear. I want you. I need you, and I'm gonna have you. And you look over to the left, look over to the right, and they all looking at you. Mm-hmm. Oh, you know that's a that's a lot of people you gonna have to kill right there to get out of that scenario. This what is I'm telling you is, would you rather get <laughs> listen and and yeah, listen to your OGs? Would you rather get raped or would you rather die trying? That's really the name of 50 Cent's first album. <laughs> <laughs> Get raped. 
get raped or die trying. <laughs> get raped or die trying. Because you had to, yo, you had to kill me, my nigga. You gonna have to fucking kill me for you to get that shit off. You put, you think I'm letting you put yo, you think I'm letting you pull your dick out? <laughs> nigga. Maybe oh, that's how I'm pushing niggas in their nuts. Y'all gonna have to kill me, bro. You gonna have to rape a corpse. Like, listen, that's what you you really have to be like, you know what? See how you get the booty warriors. Like, you know what, man? I'm, you know, I'm gay. Nigga pull his pants out around his ankles. Can't fight them. Nigga meets out. I'm sorry. Get eye level. Sent, punch your bag that shit. Punch that nigga in his nuts. Why you headbutt his first? He gonna come out. He said, "Hey yo, they said punch your bag in his shit." They gonna beat you. I'm gonna just let you know, as confirmed by jail movies, the reason why I said you gotta kill him, other than just trying to injure him like that, because yeah, you could you could literally punch a nigga. They're gonna beat you to almost to death, but they won't kill you, and then they're gonna rape you anyway. Oh yeah, I'm gonna put my take my shirt off, and I'm, this is getting weird. I know. I'm just saying. That's why these young niggas should listen. Because a lot yes. of these young boys that's not listening is in there fighting off the booty warrior right now. And hey, and they can't and losing. fight. And they can't fight. And they can't fight. They losing. There's a lot of these niggas. It, that's why these niggas be telling. These niggas be telling because in the back of their mind, they watch the boondocks and they know there's a real nigga that exists like hey, that in yo. jail. That shit is the no. scariest shit ever, bro. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That shit is so scary. You already, you already are in a horror movie if you have to go to prison. Not just jail, but prison because you know you're doing time time. And then you get there and then you realize in your horror movie there's a 290 pound gorilla upstairs ready to rape you. And he heard <laughs> and he heard that you're new. Yeah, just banging on that door. Boom, boom, boom. I've never boom. been to prison, but I just imagine new fish. you watch enough shit to to build an imagination of what prison would be like. And there's like there's gangs. There's people who look who just get in gangs just for protection, safety. They you know what I mean? Like yeah. you don't mm -hmm. have that. You better be then, yeah, you gonna see, have to be see then that's when they go see that's what fucks me up about these young niggas. They got it it takes them to go to prison to learn these no snitching rules. Yo, know, not to be flying off the handle so easily. You know what I mean? Think before you ask. She's like, and it'd be old niggas in the prison just running game to them. If y'all listen to the game that was running to y'all on the street, you might not even be in that situation you know, right now. Maybe you nigga talking fly to you. You just could walk away from that shit. Or you really got real beef like you might have to do a nigga. You, you're planning it out. You're not killing this whole fucking the whole household and missing this nigga. You getting the nigga you after. And mm -hmm. maybe your time's a little... Lighter or they let or the cops because cops really don't pursue, dude. They really don't do their job when they gang kill another gang member. They should take forever for them to find a dude that do that shit. Or sometimes they let it go. But if you murder a whole family, they got to do something about that shit. Absolutely, shit. I told y'all the cop told me one time when I uh, worked at his house about the the killings in Philadelphia when it was like really bad. He was like, "Yeah, we ain't catching these people." Yeah. He told me that out of his mouth. He was like, "Yeah, we'll probably never catch them." Like he told me about a guy who, a guy riding a dirt bike, and another guy in the car cut him off. I guess, which you're not supposed to be riding a dirt bike in the street anyway. But guy cut him off. You say he, he had the mask on because it was COVID. And he just rode up, shot him, shot him, rode off. He told me about that. I said, "Damn, that's crazy, man. That's gonna be crazy when they catch him." He was like, "We probably not gonna catch him." I said. <laughs> That's well, crazy. I'm moving to Florida. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm saying he that, actually said he's moving to Florida, by the way. That's, that's what I'm true. saying. If these little young boys is the OGs, like, look, man, go after the nigga you trying to hit. Stop taking out their whole family. Cops got they gotta go above and beyond to investigate that shit. You go after a nigga that's doing dirt like you, cops is gonna do their job, but to a point they're gonna be like, you know, ain't nobody snitching, ain't nobody telling. I'm not looking into this shit, man. It just I, it, it's kind of, it's like it's a double-edged sword, like, with the whole OG situation. I say shit all the time. When they start locking these old drug dealers up and shit like this, these dudes that ran the hood, these, them older dudes was keeping these young boys in line. Now you got younger cats instructing younger cats what to do in the street, and it's like the blind leading the blind. So now you got an air of little, these little wild dudes, little wild niggas you can't control, 
And only time they get some fucking like knowledge, they go sit down for fucking 10, 15 years and they realize they come back running the game to their balls and they don't want to listen to them. He's like, oh, you ain't in the street no more. What the fuck I got to listen to you for? Yeah. Like, Nigga, I'm trying to save your life. I fought the booty warrior every day and lived. Nigga, never <laughs> rate me. I knocked this nigga out every time. I won every fight against the booty warrior. Hey, yo. <laughs> yo, being hey, 10 yo. and 0 against the booty warrior is hey, yo, fucking that caught crazy. Me off guard, yo. Yeah. No, that's I crazy. The booty Floyd, Floyd could never say that. Won. Floyd could yeah. never. He could but never. I fought this nigga off to the point where he don't want to rape me no more. <laughs> just went to, like, I won. I don't think you can beat the warrior, the booty warrior, 10 times. And when nobody has ever <laughs> nobody has ever beat I'm the, the only one ten to know. Ten times. Now he just sends letter of references, <laughs> recommendations. Exactly. Like, nigga, you hey, you, you want to fight the booty any, warrior? <laughs> you know anybody who's willing to fight the booty warrior? <laughs> <laughs> Taking all challengers. <laughs> <laughs> Taking all ch- that nigga like spread the word. I think booty it's like warrior. a boss at the end of a game. You beat the boss and it's eight pieces to zero. <laughs> Then you realize the music start playing again. This nigga done got another old bar. What's the music though? What's the music though? What's the music <laughs> for the Booty Warrior? Please give me a good. Come on. Booty Warrior. No, no, no. That was good, but I, I imagine. I don't see nothing wrong. Oh, and R. Kelly actually sings it because he's in prison with him. <laughs> And the booty warrior comes come in, like comes in the comes in the fucking cell looking like Zangief or Street Fighter. <laughs> Yo, your answers might be even fucked up about the booty warrior right here if he's in jail with R. Kelly. Like, you know, I ain't gonna rape you the hard way. Hey, warrior. R. Kelly, come here and serenade this nigga for me wait, <laughs> before I take advantage of his booty. Wait, 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 hold up. Telling R. Kelly, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I he, always wanted to rape you. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking insane. <laughs> Yo, this booty warrior telling this nigga when he meet him. You know, I always wanted to rape you. <laughs> but for now, serenade this nigga. <laughs> <laughs> it's been my I dream get, to rape you real good. I get to, shine, I get to you for be, dessert. <laughs> same before I do it, R. Kelly. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. If you sang a good enough song, I might not rape you. Yo, every every young person out there that need an OG, you better listen to this stuff, man. We we joking, but you can be raped too. You just don't know it yet. You think you think we're gonna have to bleep all this out for uh for YouTube. You think you just some thug dude with a gun until you have to go to prison and you really gotta be face to face with dudes who really don't care because they have life for real, for real. Yo, I got 10 lives. Now you know what's you know what this reminds me of? I saw this on um on on social media. It was this guy who was in court and um he had a cellmate. Cellmate was a pedophile. And the judge is asking him. I think he probably already had life. The judge is asking him, "Yeah, so you killed him, right?" "Yeah, I killed him." "Oh, yeah." "Yo, you ain't, you know, yeah, you ain't feel sorry?" "Nah." "Well, why'd you kill him? He's a pedophile." "How do you know?" "He told me." He just started breaking it down and started, you know, trying to give me excuses. And I told him stop. And then I just went there and started punching him and never stopped. And he killed him. That's who you got to be in jail with. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. The code, the guy who keeps the code to the heart. Uh-huh. Now he's a pedophile, so I killed him. Yeah, I'm here forever, and he's not gonna be my roommate. If you're gonna put me in with a roommate, you gotta be like, uh, <laughs> you gonna say something. You gotta be the booty warrior or something. That's what I'm saying. I need competition. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, these young that's niggas, the one that's going 10 and 0. Are oh, you a pedophile? You did. All right, who's next? That's just like the young boy that went in there and killed. He was talking, bragging how he murdered somebody. And, he's, and the dude, an OG, called him like, you killed my homie. And was slapping the dog shit out of this nigga. Slapping him. It's embarrassing to get slapped by a grown man. It's, it's really embarrassing to get slapped by a grown man and get knocked down. And he's putting you out almost by slapping you. You don't want this nigga to punch you because he's slapping you unconsciously almost. And he's like, you don't got it. Oh, he probably did. I got it. Because the way he was folding, everybody can see that. Everybody could. That's the point. That's why I said fight back no matter what so that niggas know not to try you. But go ahead. He wasn't beating. The old head that he was slapping him up, 
you seen the boy. The boy was small and wired. He was scared because he didn't have his gun. Even on the street, he'd been he'd been the toughest nigga smoking. Oh, I got my shit, nigga. What's up? It's tough. It's cool. Y'all young boys gotta listen, man, to these OGs. We ain't we ain't trying to be fucking y'all black like us half the time. We ain't trying to run y'all no fucking y'all remind us of us ourselves or younger dudes. We ain't trying to give y'all no bad game. We just trying to help y'all out, man. We really we may not care about y'all to the point where we can say we love y'all, but we care about y'all enough not to see you do some fucked up shit. We just like we don't want to see your mom upset, your your, your, your your people who care about you have high hopes for you. We won't see them upset. Like, do something right with your life. You you got you got mad time ahead of you. Why are you out here trying to be something you're not? You get and you see it sometimes. I never try to be nothing I'm not. I'm never I tell motherfuckers straight up, I ain't no thug, I ain't no gangster. All I like doing is living and smiling. Mm-hmm. That's all I want to do is live a full life and smile and enjoy my shit. Ain't no bitch. But that's all I and that's it. You know what I'm saying? I ain't I ain't gonna bitch up. If I can avoid that, y'all love to love, smile, and have a good time. That's what we want y'all to do. Enjoy y'all shit. Y'all, y'all making money in the streets. Everybody don't got to know. You got to do some dirt. You don't got to tell anybody or videotape it. You know what I'm saying? Move silent. Real G's moving silent, dog. That's, I heard that so many times from over here. Real G's moving silent. The most hardest, hardcore, gangsterous, murderous dude you know is the most quietest and most humblest dude in the hood. But everybody knows, don't fuck with him. He ain't saying nothing. He don't ask no question. If something said funny, he got a smile on his face, he's a little smirk, and he he laughs it off and he keeps it pushing. But we all seen them dudes. They're the most <clears throat> quietest niggas in the hood. We know, but in the back of our mind, we all know. That's the killer right there. But look how humble he is. It's facts. A humble killer is crazy. But I get what you're saying, though. As, <laughs> come on, we don't got none of us. Y'all never seen them dudes that you like. You know he's quiet. quiet be, a quiet killer. Yeah, quiet killer. A humble killer is like, man, I don't, I don't even be killing niggas. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I don't even be, I don't even be killing niggas don't like kill that. that many, man. <laughs> yeah. I only kill it. when I got to every day. Yo, when I get there, they already <laughs> dying. <laughs> He's like, I'm Yo, not, I'm not even killing. Out the computer, <laughs> I'm not even killing. Technically, they killing themselves when they do. They did it was suicide. <laughs> Kev, I'm gonna clip all that up because that was that was some real shit. That was absolutely real shit. And the young boys need to hear it, and they need their OGs, man. They need the OGs. That's also that's all I got about OGs, man. I think we could go into it, but all we going all we going to do is just you know I mean tell them this. I'm gonna just say this real quick, and it might sound like some corny shit, but for real though, to all my young boys and shit like that, I'm keeping real with y'all. You're a black man like me. You don't hear it from other black men. We really on some real shit. Old niggas like us really love y'all. We really want y'all to succeed in life, dog. We not trying to. We do. I, I we, you know, what I'm saying you gotta spread. You gotta spread love. I love y'all, young niggas. I want y'all to succeed in life, man. I don't want nothing bad or, 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 or you know, what I'm saying bad to happen to you. I want you to get your money and live a full, full life, a happy life, and a good life, and be successful in life. That's real shit from an OG. That's how we really feel. Like we really want y'all to live that way. I know it may sound corny to y'all and shit, but on some real shit, that's what we want for y'all, man. We don't want none of y'all to be struggling and shit and go through the same shit. We want y'all to do better than us. You get what I'm saying? Do better than we did back then and pass that shit forward. That's all I got to say. That's it. Peace. I did, yeah. There you oh, go. No, 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 no. I left it blank so we could just cut out right there. Yeah. You hit the nail on the head and I'll cut it at peace anyway, but you hit the nail on the head, bro.